Yeah, children, we have a scientific toy. A homemade one. We haven't spent anything on this. Maybe except, maybe for the pillow. Okay, we have cardboard. We have cut a rectangular cardboard. Then we have fixed four wheels. These again they have been cut from thin cardboard sheets. We have used two straws here and inside the straws we have put empty refills. Used refills we have cut and put with the wheels on either side. So the movement is smooth. Here too you have a thin pipe, a straw cut to the required size, and an empty refill inside. You have two circular cardboard wheels on either side. Everything we have cut and fixed. Let us turn it now. Here we have fixed a pipe, plastic pipe. It comes almost to the middle line of the cart. We have tied a balloon here. With the help of thread you can tie and to make it a little bit airtight you can put cellotape. Then get it fixed here with the help of cellotape. Fix it very well. Yeah, as I said you have made a scientific toy. Children can play and you have something to learn from it. Yeah, we will play it once again. I'll fill the balloon. I hold it here. Leave it. Yeah, you see movement. It's fun. To play with it is fun. Okay, what is the principle involved here? Some of you may know it already. It is Newton's third law. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction. We have filled the balloon and I removed my finger here. The air contained in the balloon which is under pressure starts coming out. It forces itself out and the card starts moving in the opposite direction. This is the direction in which the air comes out. The cart moves in the opposite direction. How does it move? How fast does it move? Lot of factors work on that. Here in this case, the pressure of the air inside the balloon will make the cart move. The more the pressure, the greater the speed is. Let's play it once again. Let's see. You can leave it on the cement floor. This has some grooves here. In spite of the grooves, it's moving very well. Quite interesting. I too feel like filling air and playing with it. Isn't it? Try. Try one of your own. And when children do on their own with the help of seniors in the house, they do develop a lot of interest in such gadgets. And it has the underlying physics principle. Every action has an equal and opposite reaction as pronounced by the great scientist Newton.